Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do a recycled, upcycled cardboard pendant, um, which can be used as, you know, earrings or a necklace or whatever. Uh, I love doing recycled things. You guys know I love the cardboard. I have it all over my art room and um, my husband always is grabbing it and taking it down to recycling a few boxes at a time. So I thinking I don't notice, but I love it. So Here's what we're going to do. This is just a piece of cardboard. Now you can see underneath, um, I have a piece of cardboard that's on the back of my uh, mixed media uh, tablet, watercolor tablet, whatever you have. There's great cardboard on the back of there. But I'm just using a piece of cardboard. This is corrugated, but use whatever you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to place it on my cardboard. I can see that's a little off, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Right this second, I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife. Be very careful. Make sure your blade is tight. Mine's always coming off. And then I'm gonna hold this down and put the pressure up here where I'm gonna take the uh, X-Acto knife first. I'm gonna place this against it and run it down and try to keep it as sturdy as I can. And when I get halfway, I'm going to kind of walk my fingers down so the pressure is on the bottom part so it doesn't move my cardboard and I'm just going to cut it through. If you have a cutting a cutting board to put underneath, you know, like a where you would sew and, and use for quilting, use that. I just use a piece of extra cardboard and then you can see it just snaps. Um, I have a little piece here so all I'll do is go in with my X-Acto knife and kind of run it through. to get those pieces off. Oh, see, you gotta always sharpen your X-Acto knife. If anybody has a trick for the blade not falling out of your X-Acto knife, let me know because mine is forever falling out. And I just, the patience is not in, in me most of the time to play around with it, but you kind of see what I'm saying. Just be careful because the knives are very sharp. And you know what? If you don't have one and don't want to use it, just use your scissors. It doesn't matter. All right. So I have that. Now always put your lid back on your X-Acto knife because believe me, don't ask why. Um, <laughs> so now what you can do is if you look here, you can see I used a, a decorative scissors to get an end cut. Now you can get these at your dollar store anymore, your craft store. You can ask, uh, you know, maybe you have uh, art friends who have a bunch of these. Maybe you can trade something for them. Maybe they can send you a random act of kindness. Um, there are a million different blades. You can definitely use that and get a uh, decorative edge. Today, I'm not going to worry about that on this one. I'm just going to take my regular scissors. Give me a scissors. And I'm just going to cut. Now, you can measure it. Um, let's measure it. I don't know. Let's do three. And what I'll do is you can use a pencil to mark it. I'm just going to put my ruler. Any ruler works. You don't have to have a specific ruler. I just grabbed, I have dollar store rulers. I have craft store rulers. I have metal rulers. Pick whatever you have. Um, I'm just going to mark the, th do I want to mark the three mark? Yeah, why not? I'm going to mark the three mark and I'm going to mark the six mark, which if you're picking two, do four, do the double, double whatever your original is. And then just go ahead. And like I said, do you have to measure it? No, but you want them fairly straight and fairly, but you can always fix that at the end. Okay. So now here's where the fun comes in. Now you can see here <laughs> my measuring. I'm not a, look, that's why I do mixed media. I'm not the best measurer in the world. So don't feel bad if you don't measure as well as I, do. I mean, uh, uh, don't measure, measure. Let's start that over. Mer, 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 mer. Don't get upset if you don't measure well, because neither do I, and you just snip it off at the end. Nothing's perfect. No one's perfect. This is for fun. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so now you can do one of two things. Now you can see I have cor corrugated uh, cardboard here, so it's puffier. If you have a uh, straight cardboard like this would be, let me show you. See, it's not corrugated. It's just your regular cardboard. Now this is a very thick, wonderful cardboard. And this is on the watercolor usually comes. Mixed media is more um, thinner sometimes, but 
it doesn't matter. Um, you can double it up. So what I'm going to do today is double it up. And um, I'm going to use some, what do I want to use today? Let's do just some regular Mod Podge. Mod Podge. And all I'm going to do is take a paint brush or whatever sponge brush works. Take it, hit my camera so it moves because I have my cord up here because I was moving things around. And I am going to saturate and when I say saturate, I mean saturate both. I got to move that cord because I'm going to hit that every single time. Both sides. Really get that in there. All right. Okay. Then take them. Look, if you got your nails and, and you don't want to ruin them, you're not in luck here because it's going to be ruined. And I'm going to um, push them together. Now we could trim again once it's glued together. And I'm just going to turn both sides and I'm going to push it together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it underneath. Let me just grab one of my books here. I'm going to set it here. I'm going to set that on top. I'm going to rinse out my brush and all that and get set up for the next thing. And I shall be right back. Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to talk about this. And what this is, is a video that I did for 35 minutes. And when it hit the 35 minute mark, um, my computer decided to update and it wiped out all of my recording, um, which made me cry. And I had to go upstairs because I was very uh, upset. Now, the first part of this video about what I did with the cardboard, I still have because I already uploaded it to my movie maker. And when my computer shut down, that saved. Everything else did not. So let me show you what uh, I have going on here. And if you guys would like to see me uh, redo a video on it, if you're interested in any of these things, I would be happy to. Just let me know down below. Um, so let me just show you a few things. I'm obsessed with the Mod Melter. Um, obsessed in the sense of I look at everything now, well, what can I do the Mod Melter with it, right? And all these wonderful um, things. Now, this is a uh, metallic one and I have it in silver and gold and I was playing around with the silver uh, here as well. Um, so what I did was I took corrugated cardboard. Um, Y'all know my love for cardboard. Uh, if you saw the other side of my room, I have cardboard boxes everywhere. I save them. I rip them apart. I hug them. Sometimes I give them a little kiss um, because I just love them so much. And you also know my husband will come down here <laughs> and uh, just kind of steal a couple boxes to throw in recycling because I am a hoarder. Emphasis on the whore for cardboard. Okay, so this is corrugated cardboard and you can see it has, you know, it's like two layers. And what I did here was took two pieces and glued it together with uh, Mod Podge to make it thicker. And then um, I wanted to turn it into pendants and things for uh, art journaling and mixed media and so many different things. So um, I started this. This was two of them put together. And I painted it a uh, aqua turquoise color and then put a mod melt piece that um, got out of the mold and then the butterfly from the mold. And I glued it all together on here um, to then play around and make it, um, I don't know, either, I think these are so adorable, not that necessarily I would make it into a bracelet piece, um, but you could really make these into pendants and it's fun to do with the kids and all kinds of stuff. So this is one thing I did. Another thing I did was this. And I did it for um, art journaling or for a pendant or what have you. So what I did was I took a scrapbook paper on top of a piece of corrugated cardboard, glued it on. I took a letter sticker and I put E, obviously, from my baby Emily. And I put that there. And then I have two uh, hearts in the collage uh, clay that were painted pink. And I put them on there. Then I took the clear uh, glass mod melt. And I put it all over this, right, to make it um, delish, you know, to seal everything in. I put it over that and over the E and everything. And let's 
see how well you can see and you can do anything over it or you don't even have to uh, do the clear. You don't have to put a letter. You could put a heart. You could draw something. You could um, stamp something. You could do whatever you want, um, which I have a lot of projects coming up that I'm going to be playing with these and different things. Um, and then I took the metallic silver and did a faux like a faux solder around it. And I was just playing. Um, a lot of the times I like to come on here and play with these things because um, for one thing, it helps me figure out what I want to do and what I don't want to do on it. And also you guys watch and give me the best advice down below. Um, for instance, the other day, um, was it Laura? Hmm. Oh, she's going to kill me because I can't think of her name. I know her. I her last name's Leo, Laura. I think it's Laura. Anyway, I was doing my pen thing, uh, the showing you guys the pens, and I was doing lines, and she suggested, you'll know who you are, put your name down below and say, it was me, it was me, because I'm totally blank. You all know my fibro and all medicine makes me crazy. Um, she said, from now on, when I do the um, pencil things or pen things, to write the name of what I'm using. So if I was using the Bic whatever, um, then I would have wrote that and I would have known what pen it was in case I put it, you know, when I'm saving it for myself to know uh, reference and that kind of thing, I would know what one it was. And I thought, that's a good idea. So those kind of things, um, you know, you guys give me the best tips. So I think you guys watching and you guys are so smart. You could say, you know what? I would try this. You know what? I would do that. And I love it. So, you know, so anyway, so I did the faux solder and you can see there's a hole. I punched a hole. And, um, you know, it, it just gives it a different kind of look. And like I said, I can use that in mixed media. I can use it in my art journal. I can make this anything I want and it's sealed in and I love it. And if I want to make it a pendant, all I would do is put, uh, either another piece of scrapbook paper on the back. Let me show you the scrapbook paper I used for these. And it's these two. Um, but you can use, you know, whatever you have, uh, so you could put that on the back. You could just put uh, glue that on and then use the mod melt and cover that in the back too. Um, a lot of different things that you can do, right? So that's fun. I, like I said, I was playing, I was having a blast. And then all of a sudden I heard my computer go, ee -ee, and then it started over and I was like, no, please don't erase everything. And of course it did. Although I'm cool to, to do it over and all if, it's, if you guys are interested. I thought maybe that was just the universe's way of saying, ain't nobody wants to see that. So... Then, um, what I did was I showed you this, this, so this started out as this and, um, all it is, is a piece, just one piece of the corrugated cardboard. I put a hole in it and, um, I used some of the, the painted finishes, which I'm obsessed with. Um, and I love, so I put the painted finishes on that. And I put, what I did was I put the brick color, what is it called? Rust. The rust color on this side, and I put a um, the concrete color on this side, but I didn't dig it as much uh, when it was done. Um, and this turns out very sturdy. So for me, I'm going to be making a pendant out of this stuff. Um, it's awesome. And I put two stickers on it, uh, as you can see, after I put the... Um, rust on there and let it dry. And then I took some of the silver and made it like a kind of like a solder soldered look in a sense, you know, it needs to be a little neater. Um, but, uh, I had a blast. It was so much fun. And like I said, then, you know, I didn't like the gray color on the back. So of the concrete one. So I just kind of threw some red over. If I was on frame, if I was in the camera, boy, we'd be in business, wouldn't we? I tell you, this is my life lately. All right. Um, so yeah, so, and then I soldered it and then it has a hole or I could use this in an art journal or whatever. So this makes me happy. I really dig this. Okay. I hit my camera and let's please stop. Okay. Then what I did was I took a pasta box, cereal box, thin, thin cardboard, right? And, um, I cut it out and took two pieces. Let me show you this real quick. We'll do the big one. I won't do. I just have an inch and a, half, a quarter inch uh, hole punch. And all I did was I took whatever kind of color scrapbook paper you want, right? I'm just using two right here, but you use whatever you want. I actually used one of these. Like I cut out, let's cut that out. 
Okay. Ugh. And I took, let's say I took two pieces and I glued them together. That's all I did. I didn't use cardboard. You can, you can cut out like thin sheets of cardboard like I did here, whatever, um, and put it if you want it sturdier. And you just glue these to it. And then I took, oh, which I love this shine. I don't know if you can, look at that flower, how shiny. I don't know if they make the Sparkle Mod Podge anymore. I have to find out, but I love it. Look at that. Oh, I just want to smear it. I'm going to paint it on my nails, I think. Anyway, um, so I glued that onto, I used some Sobo. Uh, this is a craft and fabric glue. It's fantastic. I've been like using this like insanely. I might even do a giveaway at some point, just letting you know. Um, so I glued that on here and then I wanted to solder around it, right? So I'm doing my thing and I'm playing and I'm trying and then I screwed up. Um, I don't know what I did. But uh, sometimes if I go to grab onto the mod melter a little bit harder or change the position, I, I mess it up. Don't ask. Anyway, but then I was showing you guys, well, that's okay if you screw up because look, let me get my focus on here. Focus, focus. Let's see. Come on. Come on. It's not even going to focus for me, is it? Come on. I need a new camera so bad. Anyway, oh, there it's going to go. Right here, you can see I kind of screwed up. So what I did was I pushed, like I used the mod melter and I just kind of pushed it around there. And then this obviously was when I saw that my computer <laughs> rebooted. Uh, but um, so I was going to put that all around here. So I messed up a little bit, but you go with the flow. You don't let you messing up stop you from what you're doing, right? You just kind of go with it. So, all right, come on. I don't ask for much in life. I really don't. You know, some peace. I know, you're asking, how long are you going to sit there and try to make a focus, Cal? I think it's all this in the background that's not helping things. Yeah, that's it. But look at that. So then you could go around with whatever color of the mod mount. I was doing silver, but you could do whatever and take it around. Even green would look cool because... um of the flower and then I put a hole in it you know you just put your holes in there and you have this really cool pendant and I put some shiny on the back see and you can see the two holes um I probably would have only put one in here knowing that I screwed up but this is so you could hang something from both sides if you make it a pendant so I'm just I like to work these things out before I do a project and I just thought this would fun be fun to do so that's that. And like I said, I just cut them. I cut some out of here. You can use decorative scissors on the edges of anything that you cut out, whatever cardboard. Um, and look how cool you can have that on both sides. And that will work even on the corrugated cardboard. Let me show you. And look, we all have decorative scissors sitting around, most of us. And most of us probably have 30 pair of these sitting around. Um, maybe somebody might want one in a random act of kindness or, you know, something to that effect. You can get them at the dollar store now. They sell them individually. But like, you know, on the corrugated cardboard, I can just cut it. And look, you still get, you get that nice edge. So imagine all the things you can do with all the sizes that they have out there. And then I have this. This was extra glue that I had in my gun before I obviously went to the silver. So this came out really, really cool, just like in a teardrop shape. If I was on camera, you'd be able to see. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm like, really not, okay. Um, but anyway, look how cool. So it's like a teardrop shape. So just to use as um, something in your mixed media or art journal or whatever, you can paint over these with just acrylic paint. Um, but look how cool. And then you can use that for something. Um, it could be a pendant on, you know, maybe if you drew a uh, little art doll or something like that. So this is lovely, lovely, lovely. And then last thing I'm going to show you is this is the small cardboard, obviously, right? And I put both sides together with the scrapbook paper. And what I and I glittered them both sides with Sparkle Mod Podge. And then I have these delicious... Um, they're called podgeable glass domes, okay? And so you can you can see that they're thick. 
And it's almost like putting resin on there and it has that nice dome. So if you've done resin before, you know that you dome it. And then you can glue it on whatever you want and make it look very, very cool and finished. So, oh gosh, I was just having, having a blast. So um, if any of this interests you and you would like to uh, see any of uh, this and me playing and, and just, you know, I put that on there in case you don't want to put a letter, you can put a, another flower, you know, the whole thing. Let me know down below. I'd appreciate it because I really had a blast playing with these and and using, you know, so many different ideas. And, you know, I was playing like, and I was like, oh, I could put, you know, like one of these, like, oh gosh, it was just, I, my mind was going fantastically, if that's a word. And um, I was so excited. So let me know. You guys know I love cardboard. Those of you who have been with me know I just love me some cardboard. And let me know what you guys think and if you'd like to see a video on it. If not, and you got the gist of it and don't really care, that's okay. You don't have to like it. Um, but I also want to remind you guys that I have a contest going on. The link will be down below. It's on my website, knittingandthings.com. Uh, go check it out. It is from um, me and it's from Plaid. Not really me, it's from Plaid. <laughs> and it's a $150 giveaway on, you get um, some of the fantastic painted finishes. You get the brushes that go with it. You get, I think, six or seven different Mod Podges. Um, you also get the Mod Podge brush kit to go with that. You also get, I believe it's 11 new acrylic paint colors from Folk Art. You also get a, um, oh good gods, a uh, wooden uh, birdhouse. So you can kind of make a birdhouse or a fairy house or whatever you want. You can make a project with it. Um, if I'm forgetting anything, I'm sorry, but if you click the link down below, um, it'll take you to the video or it will take you uh, to the giveaway that's on my website. Now, it's um, Rafflecopter, and they've changed the way they've done things. I have a free account there. I do all my giveaways on there, but you must have a Twitter account to unlock the rest of the, um, pri the uh, how you say, uh, entries, entries, because there's like four or five other entries. Um, a couple of you have written me that you don't have Twitter. Now, I'm sorry, I can't do, I, I, I can't make it for everybody. I know a couple of you are upset over the fact that you don't have social media or you don't have Twitter. Um, I'm very, very sorry. Um, you know, I've told all of you that have written me, you know, you can join Twitter for free. You don't have to put any credit card in. You don't have to do anything, but all you have to do is have a Twitter account to open it up. And, um, you know, I mean, that's it. It's free. It's $150 worth of stuff that you're going to win. Uh, if you choose not to open your Twitter account, I, I do apologize, but it is what it is. Um, I have contests all the time, uh, not $150 worth of stuff, but I have contests on my channel all the time where I will once in a while pick somebody from the comments, um, which I've done two or three times already. Um, but a lot of my bigger contests I do do on Rafflecopter and I do have a couple contests coming up that will be on Rafflecopter. So if it's something that you want to be involved in, um, then please, you know, Twitter's free. If not, look, I totally understand. Um, but I'd appreciate the, um, for y'all to be kind about it and not write me and tell me that I'm, um, being disrespectful by putting up it, it up on Twitter. Um, you know, it's a contest. You either want to be in it or you don't. And that's all I have to say about that. Um, good luck to whoever wins. Uh, I mean, best, uh, how I want to say, I'm all flustered because I've gotten a couple emails this morning. Um, good luck to all of you to win is what I wanted to say. Um, I think it's a fantastic contest. I think over 400 uh, people have entered already. Um, so, you know, uh, good luck. I think it's fantastic. And I can't wait for one of you guys to win because it's so much fun. That's all. So let me know what you guys want. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.